Hey everyone, welcome to Paint with Coos. I'm Joey Coos coming to you from right here deep inside Raise Your Mind Art Studios. Today, I wanted to discuss a little bit about base coats. Liquid white, liquid clear, liquid black. Now, the same process can be applied to all of them. And these are my opinions and some of my experiences. In the beginning, when I first started painting, I started uh, you know, seriously painting somewhere around 2019. I think I painted one painting in 2017, three in 2018, and then 2019 came, I started painting more. But in the beginning, especially, I was having a hard time applying my sky color. Uh, every time I put it on, I couldn't get the sky the nice bright blue. It always turned very pastel colored and very um, a very watered down version of the color I was trying to achieve. And then when I was trying to add more blue paint to make a nice bright blue sky, once I tried to put clouds on top of that, there was so much paint built up on the canvas already that when I went to apply my white, it just turned into a muddy, mushy mess. And it took a lot of practice and a lot of time to come to something I was a little more comfortable with. And um, can you paint, you know, on a very saturated, wet canvas? Yes, you can, but it takes more practice and it's harder because the more you touch it, the worse it becomes and, and it's very, very hard to control. So. I just wanted to share with you my opinion about this and I was going to show you real quick how to do it. Very quick video and you'll see I've been in a, a kick lately of doing a little bit of a, a like a gray gesso just kind of sketching in my background a little bit. But I'm going to use that to kind of show you just how light I'm going to put this liquid white on. and. Um, it, it, again, it applies to any medium that you use, any liquid white or, you know, liquid clear is going to be even probably less. But um, first, you know, for anybody who's just starting out, I know a lot of people paint in their house or paint in their living room or their dining room or somewhere in the house that, you know, it's it's convenient but it's maybe it's like you know one of the only places and to you know to follow your passion of painting you need to bring your supplies into the house which I understand and I do it myself but there's one thing I want to warn uh, uh, the absolute beginner about is liquid white or liquid clear uh, is a very very thin type of a white paint it's it's oiled down so that it spreads easy so I've seen a lot of artists, even, you know, professional artists come up to the canvas with their big giant brush and they dunk it into a big can of white paint and they start doing this real, you know, real vigorously. And I'm going to tell you, you'll have spots everywhere. It's very thin. And as soon as the bristles come off the edge, it flicks paint everywhere. So first off, I always try when I do this, I don't remove the brush from the canvas. I will just take what I have on my brush and spot it around to spread it out. And then from this point, I'll do circles or I'll scrub back and forth, but I'm just spreading it around, but I am not flicking off the edge or off the top because that's gonna spread paint all over the place. It's gonna make a mess. And you'll see by working this into the canvas. This is a this is a, a Bob Ross uh, uh, canvas, by the way, and they have a little bit more of a of a grippy surface than say some of the you know maybe um, box store canvases. And I I like that. Uh, it it also helps um, the painting process it makes it a little easier for some of the steps that, that we take. Um, but yeah, listen, canvases are expensive and I would never recommend, you know, anybody who's learning and practicing to go buy, you know, the best canvas you can, because it's not, you know, that's not a, a reasonable thing to do, but uh, I will, kind of plant the seed that once you start getting familiar with the process, comfortable with your brushes, comfortable with, comfortable with the techniques, 
grab yourself a, you know, maybe a nicer kind of canvas and experience different types that um, maybe will, you know, may, they, they may make your technique even, even better. So, and, and that's absolutely true. So I'm just going to continue. You notice this canvas is rather dry, but you'll see my acrylic isn't going away. Now, could I have come down here and painted this? Yep, I could have. You know, in the interest of time, I could have come down here. If I only had 30 minutes to paint this picture, I could have done that and, and I'm done. But look what it's done. There's so much on there. It becomes very difficult to start applying stuff on top of it. So try not to do that. It takes a lot of work to spread out the little bit of liquid white that you actually use. It takes a lot of work. The the hardest exercise, what makes my arm and my hand the most tired, is applying the liquid white because I know right from the beginning I don't want to use a lot. Now you could you could put more on, make it easy, and then wipe some off. But in my opinion, that's uh that's wasteful. You know, it this stuff it costs a lot of money. So, you know, why put a whole bunch on? clean your brush and then wipe off more it doesn't make a whole lot of sense so take your time and experiment a little bit with the liquid white if you have too much or you know if you suspect you have too much it never it never ever with any of the mediums liquid clear especially you'll want to do this but liquid white I oftentimes come up and just give it a wipe now I know a lot of people like to use the shop towels and and I I subscribe to that theory myself. It's they're a great tool in this technique. But for something like this, you could just use a regular towel as long as you're not going to scrub on the canvas. You just make a nice wipe across and that's it. And you'll see once I start wiping this just how very much there was on there and how little I actually needed. I didn't need all that. And again, if I want if I if I even attempted to try to paint on top of that, boy, that I would just, I'd have such a headache trying to get a nice blue sky, clouds on top of my blue sky. It was just, it's too much. Circular motion, scrub it in, scrub it back and forth. But again, don't let it flick because you'll have, you'll have little white spots everywhere that won't, they won't come out. And you know, sometimes if you have a nice, you know, paintings around, you'll flick it onto your other paintings. And that's, that's really not a good idea. <laughs> Unless you have a bunch of snow scenes around, then, well, <laughs> then it will look like snowflakes and it'll be a happy accident. All right. So I just have it worked in nice and smooth. I'm pretty much done, but I know for my own taste, there's too much on here. So I'm coming back again and I'm going to wipe it. I will never get that oily residue off of this canvas ever until it dries. I won't be able to wipe it off. So even though I have this pretty well wiped down, there's still plenty of oil and white on here to be able to, to, um, to utilize this technique, this wet on wet technique. It does not have to be saturated as little as possible in my opinion again this is my opinion doesn't mean it's the only way it doesn't mean it's the right way it's just what works for me and i've just figured i'd share it with you now last thing i've used this brush for liquid white i suggest and i never do i used to but i don't any longer take this brush and now use this same brush and go into my blue paint and try and paint my blue sky until I clean this out as best I can with a paper towel. Take a paper towel and just go in circles and circles and then squeeze it and then pry it out of your fingers. Move the paper towel, keep doing it, keep doing it. I know it's a lot of work, but you'll, you'll be so much happier in the long run by doing this because you got to get that thin white oily paint out of the brush. I'm not saying you can't use this brush. I do all the time, but I don't use it until I wipe with a paper towel is absolutely as much of that white 
slippery oily paint out of those bristles and you can see you can see there's there's very little very little paint on there any longer just a little hint of some white but i wouldn't even be able to paint myself white with it it doesn't even barely come off so that's my process liquid white it's a wonderful wonderful base coat um, and it makes it does make blending and applying colors so much easier but too much it can make it can make you struggle right from the very beginning and that's the least thing we want as an artist as a painter as somebody who just enjoys um, spending some time um, at a at a canvas and expressing themselves artistically you don't want to challenge yourself right from the beginning you want to have the best advantage from this point forward if you start off and your your sky's not good how you know it's hard to make a beautiful remaining remainder of the painting and and you know be positive you've are i've you know for me i've already had a mindset that it's it's already going to be difficult it's going to be a fight the clouds didn't come out good and then once i'm not excited about my first steps you know, I start not caring about the rest of the steps. So I, I don't want that for anybody. I don't want that for me. I don't want that for you. Again, these are my experiences, uh, my opinions. And um, some folks, again, it, 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 there's, there's not one right way of doing it. There's a lot of different ways of doing it. And you'll find a way to be comfortable. But uh, try this. Try, try as little as possible. And especially the liquid white excuse me the liquid clear liquid clear i'll put that on and i'll wipe that as much as i possibly can you'll never ever get the oily residue off the canvas by wiping it ever you'll have plenty of oil on there to be to paint with on top of so i hope i hope you've enjoyed this and uh i'm going to continue on with this painting and um you know maybe i'll throw a few more tips together during the process and put it out but uh if not you can check this painting out and some others on um, either Paint with Coos or Raise Your Mind Art Studio. Till the next time, thanks for watching. Have a good day.